Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk, and this is a video response to a couple of comments I've had recently in videos. Um, the first one was from one of my viewers, but it wasn't on a video that I made, it was on a video that I watched and uh, commented on. The video was by Protein View, and although he didn't make the video himself, it was showing uh, the Reverend Jesse Jackson showing up to Ferguson, Missouri a week or two after the riots uh, had occurred there. And judging from the timbre of the voice of the man behind the camera, I assume the person who recorded the video was an African American, and he was castigating Jesse Jackson for his late arrival to Ferguson, for one thing, telling Jesse Jackson he was not welcome there, that he was not a leader, that he should go home, he should be ashamed of himself for selling out the cause, etc., etc. And the look on Jesse Jackson's face was one of complete shock and bewilderment. And so I left a comment which basically said, the look on his face, dot, dot, dot. That's all I had to say about that video. I didn't have anything further to add um, <clears throat> about the subject of Ferguson or that particular video. But one of my viewers who's watched my videos off and on for well over three or four years now, um, commented saying, well, basically chastising me for the lack of a constructive comment from me, telling me that they expect that I could do better and challenging me to do better, to leave a more constructive comment, to, you know, advance the conversation, whatever. And, you know, I, I basically commented back and said, look, you can judge me however you like, because I'm really unconcerned. Uh, frankly, my comment was a natural, spontaneous expression of my mind at the time. That's all I'm ever going to give when I leave a comment on videos. You know, anybody who's been acquainted with me for any length of time will probably have noticed by now, especially if we're subscribed to lots of the same channels, that there are basically two Got That Funks, right? There's the Got That Funk who makes videos, and there's the Got That Funk who comments on videos. And I think it's fair to say that Got That Funk commenting on videos is a lot more acerbic than I am in my videos. Uh, but also, my comments tend to be not necessarily less thoughtful, but less, th le less thought out and less involved. I don't really get into great big long diatribes in comment sections. I leave that to other people. But I don't really do that, at least not very often. And what I tell you I'll never do is jump when someone tells me to fucking jump. If you challenge me to leave a more constructive comment, uh, my, my initial reaction is fuck you. But basically, I didn't say that because, you know, this person is a viewer of mine who I actually engage with on a regular basis and I really do like. But if you're going to try to get something more constructive out of me, try being constructive first. Rather than making some quote sign of bullshit challenges if we're in a fucking schoolyard, why don't you ask me a question that would require a thought out response? You know, maybe you get a better result then. Maybe you get what you wanted then. Because if what you want is constructive conversation, constructive ideas from me, acting like a two-year-old and challenging me to do better is not going to get what you want. I, I don't respond well to challenges, threats, or ultimatums. None of that kind of thing really works on me at all. Because I am completely unconcerned with whether I have your approval or your acceptance. You know, I prefer it if people like me and, you know, uh, appreciate what I do. But if you don't, that's fair enough, you know, move along, nothing to see here, that's the way I look at it. And I feel pretty strongly about that. I'm here for my own reasons, to satisfy myself. I've made well over 200 video responses out of the 800 odd videos I've made on my channel. Um, so most of what I do here is all about being part of the conversation. So you can't accuse me of ducking the conversation when I personally think it's important. But if I don't have the time because I'm working 12 hours a day and I'm completely fucking stressed out and tired when I get home, to leave a thought out comment, fucking sue me. If it doesn't fucking suit you, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. If it doesn't suit you, okay. I'm not here to impress you. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please me straight up all right last but not least i got another comment on one of my videos um, the video was called uh, you fit the description of and it was about a month or so ago when i spoke about how i was stopped by a police woman in the street because i was walking barefoot at the time and uh 
you know, she asked me a few questions to identify myself and so forth. And I was very cooperative. We had quite a bit of banter between the two of us, uh, which I didn't necessarily mention all over in my video. But I was very friendly to her, very cooperative with her, until she asked me for my address. And when I told her, I said, that's going a bit far, isn't it? She said, oh, well, it's just that you fit the description of someone. There has been an incident across the street, and you fit the description of someone we're looking to speak to. And I didn't believe her. I laughed in her face, and I walked away. Well, my commenter basically said, you know, that my bad attitude um, is exactly the problem because, you know, the police are just trying to do their job and so on and so on. And, you know, I might be the victim of a crime and how would I like it if some other person was not cooperating with the police, uh, uh, trying to catch the criminal who perpetrated the crime against me and so on and so on and so on. Mate, I completely understand where you're coming from. And I don't think the police are the enemy in, of, of the people necessarily. But I do think there is such a thing as responsible policing and there's such a thing as irresponsible policing. And I think when the police tell lies, that's being irresponsible. When I told you in the comment section that there was no incident, at the moment when I walked away from that policewoman, you're quite correct that I did not know for a fact that there was no incident. It was an assumption on my part. But after that, uh, that evening, when I was done with my sunbathing, I did go to the shops and check. There was no altercation in the shops. There was no shoplifting in the shops. There was no incident. The cops were not called at all. She lied about it, mate. It was a lie. And for you to sit there with this apparently straight face, or you seem to want me to take you seriously when you say cops don't lie. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Cops don't lie? Yeah, politicians don't lie either. Neither do children. Fucking hell. I just, I just, give me a break, really. Uh, I believe in, in helping the police when it's in my interest to help the police. But uh, quite honestly, uh, just because someone has a badge does not mean I owe them any more courtesy or respect than anybody who doesn't have a badge. And if someone stops me in the street and asks me my name, a stranger asks me my name, I'll probably tell it to them. If a stranger stops me in the street and asks me my address, unless they give me a good reason why they want it, I am definitely not going to give it. And even then, I might not. You're not required to cooperate with the police, even if you get arrested. You might have heard this little blur before, you have the right to remain silent, yeah? You have the right to remain silent. You don't even have to give the police your name, whether or not you are being suspected of a crime, all right? Whether or not you're being arrested for a crime, you still don't have to identify yourself or be cooperative in any way. Cooperation comes from the grace of the person who is being asked the questions. In other words, if I'm gracious enough to answer the questions, I will. And if I haven't got the time or haven't got the motivation to answer the questions, I won't. And I'm not doing anything wrong, right? It's more wrong for the police to stop people randomly in the street for walking barefoot than it is for me not to cooperate with some policewoman who is a bit overzealous in her job. That's my opinion. You're free to disagree with it. I don't have a problem with the police as an institution. Certain police officers definitely, definitely, definitely have a lot of work to do if they're going to earn respect, okay? Respect is not automatic. Just because someone has a uniform and a badge doesn't mean you owe them any respect. Respect for police, like everyone else in the world, has to be earned.